So we all know we got a ban list earlier this month, and a deck that I don't see people talking about enough is Sky Striker. Not only did Sky Striker get engaged back to three, which is absolutely insane, by the way, but this ban list also featured Anti Spell going to one. Now, Anti Spell, of course, was always the Anti Sky Striker card, and that card basically doesn't exist anymore, which means Striker is pretty much free to do whatever they want. And going second, this deck has so many utility cards to break boards in OTK. So in today's video, I want to show you guys my blind second OTK. Sky Striker deck profile for the April 2024 format, and I think this deck is absolutely insane. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. So to get things started, we are playing three Sky Striker Ace Ray as well as one of the Rose. And I'm only playing one Rose. It's not as important as Ray. Ray, you have to be playing three of. It's the most important monster in your deck. This is just really annoying when it keeps coming back from the graveyard. It's really nice in that sense. But we are playing a go second list, which is also why I decided to cut Rose because you really wanted to play as many board breakers and as many going second cards as possible. And I'll talk a little bit about why I think the going second build just makes a lot more sense than going first nowadays. But that's just the reason why we're playing the one rose right because you don't want to be playing multiple of these you don't want to see the rose you'd rather see your board breakers and your go second cards but for the rest of the sky striker cards we are playing the newly unbanned three engage engage is absolutely insane we all know how powerful this card is it's pot of greed but even better instead of drawing two you draw one but you're also searching one so you're guaranteeing one card in your hand that you're going to need which is absolutely insane so three engage very very important to be playing three three linkage as well of course again for an otk build you have to be playing three linkage linkage is a very important card this card is absolutely insane this coming out single-handedly made the going second list of striker the better list and just way way stronger so three linkage absolutely mandatory you cannot play it without three linkage and then we are also playing three of the widow anchor widow anchor is important here as well just because it's a really good going second card honestly a lot of the in arc type stuff is just really good because this is a negate effectively and then you can take an opponent's monster as well depending on how many spells in the graveyard and then depending on what you guys want to do looking at your field presence and whatnot you can take your opponent's monster link it away which is really really powerful so three of the widow anchor then for the one-ups we're playing one shark cannon one hornet drone one afterburner these are all really good hornet drone we all know is just kind of like a starter for you shark cannon some graveyard hate afterburner of course as well is really good for spot removal area zero and one of the multi roll so the reason we're just playing one ups with all these is because these don't actually help you in your strategy like i said your strategy is to go second break boards and otk and the best cards to do that for you are these cards over here this is your consistency this is otk package this is disrupting your opponent and breaking boards these while this is kind of technically breaking boards they're not as powerful altogether they're kind of just really supplementary one ofs that help you get to where you want to go but these are cards you'd rather search these are cards you want to open right so that's why we're just playing one ofs of each of these especially in the going second list playing multiple multi roll doesn't really make sense i think this is back at three now actually funny enough but it doesn't make sense to play multiple of these just because going second it's not as important you're really just using these for the extra names and that's it for the sky striker cards the rest of the deck you guys are going to see are a ton of non-engine that help you break boards help you otk and get what you need to get done now moving on to the non-engine there is a lot of non-engine first things first is rhoda rhoda is really important for ray she's a warrior and so it's just a consistency piece for you and then of course we're playing three thrust thrust is the best card in this deck it searches absolutely everything it gets you to your engage if you need to get you to engage it gets you to your afterburner so technically it gets you to your engine but it also gets you into a lot of your non-engine so three thrust we're playing two talents here one harpies to lightning storm this is to deal with front row and back row which is really nice this deck can deal with both and on top of that with anti-spell going to one now you're never worried about your opponent just flipping anti-spell so it's really really powerful in that sense because this deck not only got buffed with engage back at three it also got buffed because you're never having to worry about anti-spell anymore right so two lightning storm harpies tactics talents all really powerful cards and then uh, these are essentially your thrust targets right because these are your board breakers but we're also playing three droplet droplet is absolutely insane in today's format at. so three droplet i think this is mandatory while it's not a thrust target it's still really really powerful and it's really nice because let's just say you're going for lightning storm for back row you can chain droplet send the lightning storm target a monster right your opponent controls so it becomes really nice in that sense because droplet can always just send any of the spells that you're activating and then you're going to be able to get rid of their monsters so that's why droplet is just really really powerful and then we're playing the one called by the grave of course really really powerful card here as well right this is just your standard 
card that you put into pretty much every deck because it plays around hand traps and whatnot right so the call by the graves and then lastly we're playing a ton of hand traps so we're playing three ash three droll and three imperm these are just what i think the best hand traps right now are to be playing droll is something that could change now droll is really funny because it's always kind of good and then it kind of falls off a little bit but then it becomes really good again so this card i will say is the card that you guys can switch up into pretty much anything it could be valor i wouldn't play nibiru although nibiru is really really good i wouldn't play nibiru because it does lock up your main monster zone which then you can't activate any of your sky striker spells so i wouldn't play nibiru but these could be valor instead another card that i I really wanted to play and test out was bell i think bell is really good because bestials are starting to run around and of course we all know that ray is a dark so that with the bell you're pretty much protecting your ray but then bell is also really good into a lot of decks in the format this could be bell as well honestly it could be so many different things but uh, i think ash and imperm 100 you need to be playing they're just the best hand traps the most generic hand traps and then with the three drool these could be bell these could be beauty crow these could be valor but i think drool right now just makes a lot of sense so that's why we're playing the three drool instead and that's it for the main Main deck it's a 40 card main deck on the dot and the reason we're not going more than 40 is because we really want this deck to be as consistent as possible and you really don't want to have like weirdly bricky hands or hands with just board breakers or hands with just sky striker cards you really want a good mix of both moving on to the extra deck here extra decks are always going to be a lot more standard so you're playing three of the kigari of course three of the shizuku the most important ones you need to be playing three and three we're also playing two hayate helps uh facilitate your otk which is really nice so two hayate and one zeke uh, this is all you're playing i'm not playing azalea i feel like azalea just never really comes up although it sounds really good in theory it just feel like it's not that important and so that's why we're not playing the azalea we're just playing the one zeke but of course we're playing all these other link monsters so he Vita, dark really really important we're playing ip sp of course really broken cards unicorn and then access code talker so essentially you're playing all these you're never going to lose the barrier which is really nice like i said earlier never really going to lose the anti-spell either so this deck not only going second is just really really powerful because it's at full power on top of that it's not losing to a lot of the cards that you would otherwise lose to in the metagame right now which is really nice right and you have access to all of these right so getting access to access code is so simple in this deck and then uh, sp little knight of course these are all really really powerful cards these are the main cards you're going to be starting a lot of your combos with these are a lot of the cards that you're going to be ending your combos with because you're going to be able to push for a lot of damage break a lot of boards and then go for otk right so that's it for the extra deck it's pretty standard i would say lastly i want to move on to the side deck but i do want to say and i always say this in my videos side decks are always going to be up to personal preference this is just a skeleton for something that you guys can do and this covers pretty much everything in the format but again if your locals is more combo based if it's more tempi based if it's more control based just build your side deck around your locals this is just kind of a skeleton that you guys can use that's good into a little bit of everything right so two effect veiler i think veiler is really really powerful as well it's just one of those hand traps that's really good into uh some decks specifically that maybe droll is not really that good into so veiler here is just another hand trap you guys can be playing two of the panker tops panker tops of course is really good as well because in this deck specifically breaking boards is uh really easy but this makes it easier and it gets itself off the field so unlike something like nibiru where yes you can activate nibiru but it sticks the monster onto the board panker tops is really nice because summoning this it's going to be able to get itself off the field break your opponent's board and then you can do all your sky striker stuff right so pancreatops just works really well in this deck we're playing two d barrier the reason we're not playing three is because we have thrust so we can thrust into this when you're forced to go first a lot of the time your tempai opponents are going to make you for go first right so you can go d barrier call synchro against tempai very very powerful in that sense and tempai plays so many hand traps so it's really easy to get the thrust uh, off which is really nice so barrier is also really good you guys can argue playing one and then playing the third veiler instead i just like to play two because i don't want to rely on thrust that much like if i do draw the barrier it becomes really powerful if i don't draw it then i can thrust it but arguably you guys can play one barrier and then the uh third veiler here as well it's really up to you guys again this is just a skeleton a card that i absolutely love in this deck going first is heat wave so if your opponent is forcing you to go first who cares you just activate heat wave don't summon a monster if you have like droplet or you have uh, widow anchor or something just set it as disruption or like imperm and then pass right because your opponent is not going to be able to kill you under heat wave and if they can't kill you and it comes back to you turn three you're going to be able to push for damage and, and otk them right so that's why heat wave make, just makes so much sense in sky striker it gets a spell card in your graveyard and it buys you a turn and that's all you need when you're forced to go first and so that's why heat wave absolutely insane card another card that i like playing going first is three threatening war again tempai is going to want to otk you they're going to want to push for a lot of damage threatening war 
absolutely insane card it's also thrustable which is nice so you could argue playing two of as well but uh again i didn't want to rely on thrust drawing this is just really really nice and then lastly three solemn judgment just the best trap card in the game this is the best going first card in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. if you guys are looking at this uh, side deck you can see majority of it here is to go first we only have a few going second card and that's because the main deck is so good for going second anyways that we don't need too many going second cards in the side deck we mainly wanted to focus for when our opponent forces us to go first so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. That is my take on a blind second Sky Striker deck list. I think this deck just makes so much sense. It can break back row, it can break front row, it can OTK, it can make boards. It does so many different things. And that's why I think this deck just makes so much sense to play in today's format. Engage is back to three, anti spells at one. This is the best time to play Sky Striker. So I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. We upload seven days a week here on the channel. You guys are gonna get five shorts and at least two long videos like this one might get even more so make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you and with that spanko signing out peace